Penn Badgley has had the internet obsessed with him again since starting his lead role as Joe on the Netflix hit series You. But before that, it was from his role on Gossip Girl, as you may recall. The actor was catapulted into mega fame when he joined the cast of the juicy teen drama series back in 2007, which focused on a group of privileged kids living in Manhattan's Upper East Side. Not to mention when Penn dated his co-star from the show in the era when gossip sites and tabloids were at their height, he couldn't get away from the public eye and the slightest. While Penn has amassed a mega success in his current role on You, these days he's also fully committed to his family life as well. And he is nothing like his character Joe, that's for sure. Considering Penn Badgley finds himself so different from the role he's played on TV, there's definitely a lot that fans don't know about his reality. We'll talk about his early life, his journey from growing up in Baltimore and making it to Hollywood, how dating Blake Lively helped him stay sober, and more. Here for you on Famous Life. Penn Dayton Badgley was born on November 1, 1986 in Baltimore, Maryland, parents Duff and Lynn Murphy Badgley. His father worked as a newspaper reporter at one point and then as a carpenter and house builder while he also was the Green Party candidate for the governor of Washington in 2008. Penn was an only child and he went to Woolridge Elementary School where his mom served as PTA president. Then he transferred to St. Christopher's School in Richmond, Virginia and also attended Charles Wright Academy in Washington. Reportedly, Penn and split his childhood years between Richmond, Virginia and Seattle, Washington. In Seattle, he was involved in the Seattle Children's Theater and the Pine Nut Players in Monroe, Washington, a community theater. It was through these experiences that Badgley discovered his love of acting. Penn's parents divorced when he was 12, but his mother always supported his love for acting and worked a variety of jobs in the meantime, later on starting a jewelry design business. He's claimed that he skipped high school completely, and at age 14, he took a proficiency exam and began attending Santa Monica College. He was later accepted to the University of Southern California, but deferred admission and later enrolled for a couple of years at Lewis and Clark in Portland, Oregon. Also musically gifted, Badgley enjoys singing, writing, and playing the guitar. One summer growing up, Penn's passion for acting brought him to Hollywood, where he landed an agent as well as his first big break, guest starring on the show Will and Grace. Prior to this, he got some jobs doing voiceover for children's radio stations in Hollywood. He and his mother then relocated to LA when he was 11 years old fully so that he could really pursue an acting career. After Will & Grace, Penn appeared on shows like daddy -O, The Brothers Garcia, and What I Like About You. Penn still does have some regrets about being a child actor though. His first movie credit was the 2001 queer cult film The Fluffer, and it brought some conflicted feelings. He reflected back on this, saying, When I read the script, neither my agents, my mom, or I knew what a fluffer was, and I was the first one to find out because I read the script first. That is a microcosm of the whole thing. Should a 12-year-old be? Let's just go ahead and say no. Penn's first noticeable role was playing Philip Chancellor IV on the soap opera The Young and the Restless from 2000 to 2001, and since he was nominated for the Young Artist Award for performance in a daytime series for this performance, this brought him recognition. Either way, Penn was working steadily in his teen years, mostly on TV. In 2002, he was in the comedy drama series Do Over and two other series on the WB Network work The Mountain and the Bedford Diaries. His first major film credit came in 2006 in the teen flick John Tucker Must Die, playing the role of Scott Tucker, and this movie was a box office success. However, Penn was still an actor who flew under the radar, but this all ended during the fall of 2007 when at 20 years old he became an instant celebrity as part of the main cast on Gossip Girl. On the hit teen drama series, he played Dan Humphrey. He initially turned down the role but accepted after the producers were struggling finding someone to fill it and to say it was life-changing is an understatement. Gossip Girl was based on a novel and it was about privileged high school students living and misbehaving in the Upper East Side of New York City. And the show was nothing short of drama. Fans were obsessed with Gossip Girl, and Penn and his co-stars were also paparazzi prey in New York City where they worked and hung out. Considering Penn was also in a romantic relationship with his co-star Blake Lively at the time, he especially became a tabloid fixture. While Penn's role as Dan Humphrey was praised and earned him 16 Choice Award nominations during the series run. More than a decade ago, Gossip Girl was nearing its end. Penn said about this chapter of his life, For years while doing the show, I didn't want to be in television. 
television. I was abiding time a lot with Dan. I was not invested. And I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm just saying what it was. And when looking back on those years, he adds, there's two ways I see them, fun and fast paced. But underneath was a dark undercurrent that would bottom out in my later 20s. Penn has claimed that while he never struggled with substance abuse, he credits his then girlfriend, Blake Lively, with that, stating Blake didn't drink and I think our relationship in some ways saved me from forcing myself to go down that road. While sparks between the couple only added more sizzle to the already seductive show, the fun ultimately did not last as Penn and Blake ended their relationship in 2010, much to the dismay of fans. However, the actor continued his rise to fame with roles in films like The Stepfather, Easy A in 2010, and the financial thriller Margin Call in 2011, while continuing to star on Gossip Girl. Since Penn was also talented in the music department, he formed a band under the name Mother, and their song titled Easy became popular on the web. They also released their debut album Centerfold in 2016. While Penn has appeared in some other films over the years, he is best known for his lead role as Joe Goldberg in the Netflix hit series You. The show debuted in 2018 and is still running with his performance as Joe being praised by critics, calling it his best so far and writing that he was doing some of his best, most unhinged work in the series. His charming nature and playful face are the perfect twisted mask for the nice guy with control issues lurking underneath. It's interesting to discover then that when Penn was initially approached for his role on You, he straight up did not want to do it. Playing someone like Joe just wasn't appealing to Penn despite the fact that according to him, it was almost like a twisted psycho version of Dan Humphrey. However, at this point, Penn had found peace in his life spiritually as well as with his wife and family, so he didn't want to play such an evil character. Not to mention, Penn was also concerned with how sexual the role was and how many intimate scenes he would have to film. In later seasons, the show had an intimacy coordinator, but when production began in 2017, that job didn't exist. The whole series revolves around Joe's romantic fixations and how he gets the women he's fallen for to submit to his charms. So basically, a lot of sexual scenes. The success of You has a lot to do with Penn, the only actor who starred in all four seasons and his ability to charm the audience into sticking with the show. Without Netflix though, You would have been one and done. It premiered on Lifetime in September 2018 and was a mismatch for the television for women cable network. A total of 650,000 people watched it. You bombed and Lifetime canceled it that December. But before the show premiered, Netflix had signed on as its streaming partner, licensing its reruns and international rights. When the first season of the already canceled You dropped on the platform on December 26, 2018, it became a massive meme-inducing smash hit. Netflix tweeted that You was on track to be watched by 40 million households within its first four weeks. In 2023, Penn requested that his character and you have fewer sex scenes out of respect for his real life marriage. But he continues to stand strong in his role of Joe. These days, Penn is also a producer on you, directing his first episode this season titled She's Not There, which got him into the director's guild. You hasn't been renewed yet. Badgley and the show's creative team are expecting a fifth season will wrap up Joe Goldberg's twisted story. Other than being immersed in his character of Joe and focused on his family life outside of work, Penn has also formed a production company titled Ninth Mode Media, which aired the podcast Pod Crushed that he hosts with Kavalin and Sophie Ansari. Their interviews feature guests such as Lisa Kudrow, Conan O'Brien, Jenna Ortega, a former co-star on You who survived Joe, as well as Penn's wife, Domino Kirk Badgley. The actor is even active on the Pod Crushed TikTok account, which has become another platform for Badgley to create viral content. In terms of the future, Penn has plans for Ninth Mode to go beyond podcasting and has secured fun funding for him to direct his first film, which he can begin whenever you concludes. He's also optioned the David Sedaris story Jamboree to be developed as a feature. But for now, we can continue to watch Penn Badgley in his juicy and twisted role of Joe Goldberg on you. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Famous Life and leave a comment for who you'd like us to feature next.